Hey everybody, how you doing? This is DJ TLM for DJ TLM TV. DJ TLM TV is my new channel and it's all about turntable tips and tricks, product reviews, interviews, exclusive footage, and I even got some specials lined up to represent the dope MCs that we have out here in Holland, so stay tuned for that. This video might be very useful if you're a beginning DJ and you're about to buy your first DJ set. You might not be that familiar with all the options that you have nowadays, so I'll give you a quick overview ranging from turntables to CD turntables, time code systems, and MIDI DJ controllers. Now I'd like to start with the turntable, and in this case we're using the classic Technics SL1200 MK2. I've had this one for 18 years and it still works just fine, except for this little light right here, but you can get that fixed anywhere. And when you look at a turntable, it's a real basic machine. It doesn't have a lot of functions. I mean, you have your start-stop function, you have two speeds, 33 RPM and 45, 33 is for 12 inches and albums, 45 RPM is for the small 7-inch singles. You have your pitch control, which is essential for mixing. Any device that's made for mixing will have pitch control because the pitch control manipulates the tempo of the record, the track, and makes it go faster or slower, and that's quite essential if you want to blend music. Over here you can make some adjustments to the tone arm, but that's basically it. So a turntable is really made for playing records and mixing music. Now, an important note, if you're thinking about incorporating turntablism into your DJing, and when I say turntablism, I mean scratching, cutting, beat juggling, I would always recommend that you start with a turntable. For one simple reason, the turntable has a moving platter, and a moving platter gives you a much better understanding of why you're supposed to move your hand and the vinyl in certain ways to achieve a certain scratch sound or juggle. So if you want to get into turntablism, start with a turntable. Now, a turntable when using real vinyl has a couple of downsides. Uh, one, records can skip because essentially it's you have the needle touching your vinyl and when you're moving it around, especially when you're scratching, it might skip. A bigger issue is that if you want to be a DJ and you want to play new music, it's going to be real hard to find the new music on vinyl because a lot of new music is not being pressed on vinyl anymore. So that's a couple of downsides to using real vinyl with a turntable. I'd like to switch to the Pioneer CDJ1000 MK3 right here. This is a compact disc player, or better known as the CD turntable. And it has a couple of similar features when you compare it to the turntable. You have your start stop and you have the essential pitch control. But as you can tell, this has a lot more functions. Now, a couple of points. Of course, as you can see, there's no vinyl and there's no needle touching the record, so your tracks can't skip. That's a plus. It doesn't only support normal CDs, but also MP3s, so you're able to burn maybe 80 songs, 100 songs on one CD and play them. So, could be cool if you'd like a lot of music on one CD. It has some nice other features, including cue points, and a cue point is that you can pinpoint a part of the record, highlight it, and then recall it with these three buttons. So, if you want to go to the break of a song, you can just make a cue point, press that button and it takes you exactly to that point of the song. When using real vinyl, you would have to push the record forward, listen on the headphones to find that point. So you can access points quicker using the cue points. And it has a loop function which allows you to take a certain part of the record and repeat that part in a continuous loop. So a couple of nice features and it's definitely more advanced than a turntable, but it's also a totally different feeling because you don't have the moving platter and it's not vinyl. In the middle, we have an essential machine. If you're going to get two turntables or two CD players, you're going to need one of these right here because this is where all the sound comes in and this takes the sound to the amplifier. This is your mixer. This is a two-channel mixer. On one channel, we have the CD player. On the other channel, we have the turntable. And this allows me to mix two songs by using the faders and the crossfader. Now this is a scratch mixer. You can always recognize a scratch mixer because there won't be any buttons 
or knobs in the vicinity of the crossfader so you can go all out with moves on the crossfader and never accidentally touch a different button. Now when it comes to mixers you have thousands of different mixers so think about what it is that you need your mixer for. I use scratch mixers because I also do turntablism in my DJing but if you're not going to do any scratching you don't necessarily need a scratch mixer. This only has two channels maybe you'd like four channels so get a four channel mixer you got mixers with effects, samplers, would you like to plug a mic into your mixer? So think about what you need and then go look at all the different mixers that are out. But if you're gonna get two turntables or two CD players, you're gonna need a mixer. I'd like to talk about time code. I gotta say that my DJing definitely changed since I started using time code. And essentially time code eliminates the need for you to bring crates of vinyl or bags of CDs to a club because all the music is stored on your MacBook, laptop, whatever you use and you control the music in your virtual decks in the software by using either a turntable or a CD player. The only difference is that now you're using a special timecode vinyl or a special timecode CD. In this case, I'm using a system by Rain. This is called Serato Scratch Live, and there's tons of different time code software systems out. So, again, go to a store and compare the different time code systems and see which one you prefer. Now, I'm only bringing my time code vinyl and the music in my laptop, which allows me to bring a lot more music. And if you're using turntables, it now gives you the same option as the CD DJ. The CD player had the cue points and the loop function. The software in my timecode system also supports cue points and looping. So now I can loop and use cue points on my turntable. So it took DJing with a turntable to the next level and allowed you to compete with the technical advanced capabilities of the CD player. So really cool and I'll do a separate video on time code to explain it and show you all the different features that you have in Serato Scratch Live. We're taking it to the next level and this eliminates turntables, mixers and CD players and that's the MIDI DJ controller. Over here we have the Vestax VCI 300 Mark II and as you can see it's a really small unit and it incorporates everything that you need to DJ into one machine. You have two platters to once again control two virtual decks in your MacBook and in the middle you have two up faders and a cross fader so it means that you have your mixer and your two platters in one small device. This can be used in a club but it's also very cool if you just want to DJ at home and you don't want to well make a lot of room for a whole DJ set this size you could do it with just this little space right here it's USB powered so you can connect it to your laptop and that's all you need you can plug in a headphone or you can connect it to your uh, stereo system to get sound now to take a closer look at the VCI 300 Mark II I'll have to switch the setup for a minute so we're gonna close Serato Scratch Live because you're using different software for the MIDI DJ controller. All it takes is one USB cable, which we have right here. I'll take the output from my mixer and just plug it in to the unit. We have enough cable, yes, we do. There we go. And I'll open a program called Serato Itch. Now the cool thing about a MIDI controller is that it's a whole DJ set in one unit but it also has functions to control the software. So I don't have to touch my laptop to select new music because I can just go through my crates as I'm doing right now and select a song. So. I'll select the song right now, put it in both decks, and 
now I'll be able to control I do have to add this there's a lot of different MIDI controllers out right now and a lot of manufacturers claim that they have scratching capabilities on the machine and in my opinion a lot of the times it's not the same thing as scratching if you're used to say a turntable or even one of these CD turntables so the platters on this one actually have quite a good feeling but I've tried a couple of different players as well and some of these controllers well they're just not made for scratching so if you want to get into the turntablism thing start with a turntable if you want to advance and move on to something different like a MIDI controller make sure that you test it in a store now since it's a small unit and there's a lot of functions you do have to deal with the fact that a lot of buttons have one two or maybe even three functions so you really have to do your homework when using this because for a lot of secondary functions you'll have to press a shift button before you can press the button to get to that function and it takes a little homework but in the end you'll have a very cool small compact unit that you can take to a club plug it in and it's super easy to use Alright, like I said, I wanted to add one more thing. This is not for the beginning DJ, it's probably for the more experienced DJ. And if you really like the feel of a real turntable, but you want to get into the whole MIDI controller thing, this is the unit. As you can tell, this is the Newmark NS7, as you can tell, it's a big unit. The Vestax unit was real nice and compact. You can just take it in your living room, put it on your lap and DJ. But this is a real big unit. So it's everything in one, but it gives you the feel that you're really dealing with two decks and a real mixer in between. And because it's that big, all the functions are spread out across the machine, so you don't have to deal with secondary functions and touching shift. Everything just has its own little button. You have your cue points, real accessible right underneath the platter. But here we go. For the turntable heads out there, you have moving platters that actually feel like a real turntable have that same turntable torque like it's a real motor moving it and the top of the platter is a piece of real vinyl this is a seven inch vinyl and you're actually touching vinyl so it gives you a real good feel and you can really get your turntablism skills I, I don't know you, you can express them a lot better on a machine like this Once again, two very important things. One, think about what kind of DJ you want to be. Do you want to be a club DJ? Do you want to be a turntablist? Are you just going to have some fun at home? Because there's a lot of different possibilities for all of those options. And very important, number two, budget. How much money can you spend? Do you want to spend? And real important, if you're just starting out and you don't know for sure if DJing is really what you want to do, Go with a small unit, like a controller for a couple of hundred, just try it out. Don't spend tons of money to only find out that it's not really for you. You have to sell everything at a lower price and it just costs you money and it's a waste of time. So be careful with your money, it's still a recession. I hope you have a lot of fun, I hope this video helps you. Go to the store. Use this video as homework, but go to the store, try the different models, different mixers, different turntables, different time code systems, different controllers, and I hope you find something that you like and have a lot of fun with it. Come back to DJ TLM TV because I will be doing a lot of tutorials on different tips and tricks on mixing, scratching. If you want me to do a certain video, email me, djtlmtv at djtlm.com. If you have any suggestions for me to make the videos better, all help is welcome. So please do send me those emails. Subscribe to the channel and tell your people. Salute. See you next time.